nose with the Boeing 767 in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. It's the last thing the seagull saw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so round behind the barrier, you can see that there's no effect at all, uh, or very, very little effect sneaking through the gaps uh, from the engines themselves. This pond here on our left-hand side is called a settling pond, and it collects all of the rainwater here at Sydney Airport. It's more than just... It's more than just the uh, uh, the washing water that we need to be careful of. When it does rain here at Sydney Airport, the rainwater also brings with it pollution, pollution from the air created by cars, trucks, buses and industries around Sydney. Now, even though it doesn't belong to us, of course, it doesn't mean we can't allow it to uh, flow straight back out into the bay. So we need to collect the water. This area collects all of the water, allows the water to settle, flow to the top where we can siphon the water off and take it away for recycling. 747 just departing on the runway from the south. In about 20 minutes' time, we'll be at the very southern end of the main north-south runway watching them come in. These are the biggest engines used in commercial operation anywhere around the world on this type of aircraft. Have a look at the difference between the engine size on this one and the engine size on the 747. These engines can produce more than 40 tonnes of thrust. In fact, one 777 engine at full power will suck more air into its intake in one minute than you'll suck into your lungs in your lifetime. So pretty powerful piece of machinery. And these, engine, these aircraft can fly indefinitely on the power of one engine should that be necessary. And here's the flagship of the Qantas fleet, Wanala Dreaming, here on the right-hand side, painted up in the colours of Australia's Outback, used for most of the high-profile flights, and of course all of the special charters. As we mentioned before, this is one of the aircraft used to bring the uh, Olympians back from Athens in 2004. Still fairly busy, that's Air China in front of us heading uh, off to Beijing this afternoon. On the runway and just about to depart China Eastern Airways heading off to the city of Shanghai. Just leaving the ground out there to our left at just under 300 kilometres per hour. What a movement going on. The other Airbus out in front of us is the twin jet version of the uh, Airbus, the A330, and that one flies for Garuda, Indonesia, heading out to the southern end of the runway where we'll be heading out shortly. We'll go for a bit more of a drive through the more cosmopolitan parts of the airport now. The Malaysian Airlines jet, Jumbo, is not taking off at the moment. In fact, it won't leave until about 4 o'clock this afternoon. So they're moving it out of the way. The Korean Air aircraft over on the other side is also one of the standoff bays. We'll drive past that area in about 10 minutes. I'll tell you a bit about what they're doing over there. We've got a United Airlines aircraft on the move as well. So it's... Uh, all go on a Saturday morning here at, uh, at Sydney Airport. Another China Southern Airways Boeing 777 around the corner. We'll go for a bit of a drive down here. Another airline beyond the China Southern uh, aircraft is uh, also known as China Airlines. Uh, however, they're a Taiwan-based air uh, company that fly in and out of uh, Taiwan from, uh, from Sydney Airport. It's right down at the very end of the, uh, the base here on the right. aircraft is uh, being transferred from this bay round here round to the other side of the international terminal. If you're ever up in the international terminal, we'll give you some uh, idea of exactly where we are, ladies and gentlemen. The windows you can see up there are the windows that look out from the food court on the departures level of the international terminal. So that might give you a bit of an idea of where we are on the uh, on the apron at the moment, if you've ever been up there before. Also, as per the boss's instructions, I'll drive past slow enough to give people enough time to write the phone number down on the side of the bus. <laughs> Just in case you never know. In front of us, an A340 Airbus, which is heading off to Vancouver, west coast of Canada. It's heading via Hawaii. Uh, can't fly. It uh, doesn't have the range to fly all the way across non-stop. So uh, it does stop for refueling in Hawaii along the way. So that's the, uh, the A340 Airbus from Air Canada. Now, if I 
remember correctly, uh, just overheard the radio transmission saying this aircraft is being towed to bay number 61, which is up around the corner. So we'll go for a bit of a drive alongside this uh, 